Many Americans are reconsidering their travel plans in light of the current global pandemic. Some have even planned memorable vacations in their own backyards. Here are the countries which currently accept visitors from the United States. As of September 6, U.S. citizens traveling to Albania must now submit to testing. PCR tests must be completed within 72 hours of departure, and antigen tests must be completed within 48 hours. Negative results are required for entry. Fully vaccinated travelers are exempt from these requirements if they show proof of vaccination, as can anyone who can prove they recovered from COVID-19 in the past six months. Expect airport health screening procedures, as well as social distancing guidelines and a curfew. According to the embassy website, there are restrictions on which countries you can pass through on your way back home. Andorra, this tiny country between France and Spain is open to Americans. To enter, you must show proof of vaccination completed at least 14 days prior to arrival, proof of negative test results within 72 hours of arrival, or proof of recovery from the coronavirus. Visit the country's FAQ website for more information. Angola, Americans can enter Angola as long as they have proof of a negative coronavirus test taken within the last 72 hours. To enter, travelers must also complete a travel registration form and pass through screenings. Visitors may also be required to test upon arrival and, depending on the results, be quarantined. More information can be found on the website of the U.S. Embassy. Anguilla, as of July 1st, only visitors fully vaccinated at least three weeks prior to arrival will be allowed to visit Anguilla. They must apply for entry to the island prior to travel and upload the results of a negative coronavirus test taken two to five days before departure, or 48 hours prior to travel and taking an antigen test. They will be subjected to another test once they arrive on the island and must remain in their accommodations until they receive a negative result. For more information, go to the websites of the United States Embassy in Anguilla and the Anguilla Tourism Board. Antigua and Barbuda, access to this Caribbean treasure is conditional on a negative coronavirus test, for those over the age of 5, taken no more than 4 days before your flight, as of October. 1. All arriving visitors must also show proof of having received at least one dose of a coronavirus vaccine. A negative PCR coronavirus test performed no more than 4 days prior to departure, or 3 days for a rapid antigen test, whether arriving by plane, cruise ship, or other mode of transportation, American visitors will be subjected to temperature checks and health screenings before being admitted to Antigua and Barbuda, prior to landing. They must also complete a health declaration form. More specific information can be found on the country's tourism website. Argentina, Americans can only visit Argentina for tourism if they are fully vaccinated. Have negative coronavirus tests taken within 72 hours of departure. Unvaccinated Americans can only enter Argentina under certain conditions. Visit the embassy's website for more information. Armenia, this Western Asian country allows U.S. citizens to enter if they have a negative coronavirus test taken no more than 72 hours before arrival or agree to take a $40 test upon arrival and quarantine until the results are negative. Vaccine documentation cards are accepted. Face masks are required in public places throughout the country, but Armenia is open for business. Aruba, Aruba is welcoming visitors from the United States. A negative coronavirus test taken no more than 72 hours before arrival, on the other hand, for everyone 12 and older, if you're flying JetBlue to Aruba, you can take a saliva-based vault PCR molecular COVID-19 test at home. Fully vaccinated travelers may be exempt from testing requirements. All U.S. visitors must also purchase Aruba visitor insurance to ensure they are covered in the event of a medical emergency during their stay. The cost of this insurance varies depending on the age and length of stay of each traveler. To find out how much it costs, use the Aruba visitor insurance calculator. Austria, Americans can enter this European country without being quarantined. As of September 15th if they provide proof of vaccination, unvaccinated visitors must show proof of a negative test taken no more than 72 hours before travel and be quarantined for 10 days at their own expense upon arrival. If they test negative on day 5, their quarantine may be terminated sooner. Visit the embassy's website for more information. The Bahamas, the Bahamas, a popular tourist destination among Americans, welcomes American visitors to the picturesque islands. 
Travelers must apply for a travel health visa and provide a negative COVID-19 test taken no more than five days prior to arrival. As of August 6, this negative pre-testing requirement applies to all travelers over the age of two, including vaccinated travelers. Visitors must also purchase health insurance that covers them for the duration of their stay, the cost of which depends on your vaccination status. On the fifth day, all unvaccinated visitors who plan to stay on the island for more than five days must take a rapid antigen test. Only travelers who have completed all courses of Pfizer, Moderna, Johnson & Johnson, and AstraZeneca vaccines are exempt from fifth-day testing. Those who travel around the Bahamas without wearing face coverings will also face fines. Bahrain, citizens of the United States, fully vaccinated may travel to Bahrain without being tested. Unvaccinated travelers must show proof of a negative test taken within 72 hours of departure. All travelers, regardless of vaccination status, will be required to pay for three additional coronavirus tests, one upon arrival, one on day 5, and one on day 10. Visitors who have not been immunized must also self-isolate for 10 days. Fully vaccinated Americans can avoid this quarantine, but they must still comply with the testing requirements. Before departing, travelers must also download the Be Aware Bahrain app. Bangladesh To enter Bangladesh, U.S. citizens must take a COVID-19 test within 72 hours of arriving and prove the negative results with appropriate documentation. Unvaccinated travelers must complete a 14-day home quarantine period upon arrival in the country, even if they have proof of a negative test. Barbados Travelers, over the age of 5, can vacation in this Caribbean paradise as long as they complete a travel form online at least 24 hours before their flight and provide a negative coronavirus test result obtained within 72 hours of their arrival. Even if a negative result is obtained, travelers must quarantine in an approved hotel or villa for a minimum of 5 days before taking another test and being released. Fully vaccinated travelers must still take a test prior to travel and submit to testing upon arrival, but they can avoid quarantine and the coronavirus test on the fifth day. For more information on traveling during the pandemic, visit the Barbados website. Belarus, citizens of the United States can travel to Belarus with few restrictions. Travelers must have a negative coronavirus test no more than three days before their trip. At the port of entry, travelers will also be subjected to health screenings, including temperature checks. Unvaccinated travelers must also self-quarantine for 7 to 10 days. Vaccinated travelers can avoid quarantine. For more information, go to the website of the United States Embassy in Belarus. Belgium, only vaccinated Americans can visit picturesque cities such as Brussels, Bruges, and Antwerp as of September 1st. Because the Belgian government does not consider the United States to be a red zone country, American visitors are not required to take coronavirus tests. A test upon arrival is also required, as is a period of self-quarantine pending receipt of a negative test result, as is a second test on day 7. Passengers will be required to fill out a passenger locator form and submit to health screenings at the airport. Visit the embassy's website for more information. Belize, American visitors, those aged 5 and up, will be required to present a negative coronavirus test taken no more than 96 hours before departure to Belize. Rapid antigen tests taken within 48 hours of arrival are also acceptable. If you don't have a negative test, you'll have to pay a $50 fee, cash, and take a test when you arrive. If the test results are negative, visitors can proceed to their gold standard hotel. For more information, go to the Belize Tourism website or the website of the United States Embassy in Belize. Benin, Americans do not need to take any tests before visiting this African country, but they will be subjected to a rapid test and a PCR test upon arrival. On the 15th day of their stay, they must also take a third test. Visit the embassy's website for more information. Bermuda, this Atlantic paradise welcomes Americans, ages 2 and up, as long as they present negative results from a COVID-19 test taken no more than 4 days before arrival, everyone will be tested again upon arrival. On the 4th and 10th days of their stay, travelers who have not been immunized will be tested on day 14 if they have not been immunized. All unvaccinated visitors arriving in Bermuda after June 20 must stay in a quarantine hotel for 14 days. Vaccinated travelers must remain quarantined in their place of residence or hotel until their arrival test results are negative, which usually takes about 24 hours. To be approved for entry into Bermuda, all visitors must also submit a travel authorization form and a $75 fee. For more information, go to the website of the United States Consulate in Bermuda.
Bolivia, this country allows Americans to visit as long as they have proof of a negative coronavirus test taken within 72 hours of travel, in public places, masks are required, and passengers should expect health screenings at the airport. All unvaccinated visitors must retest 72 hours after arrival and remain quarantined until their results are negative. Check the embassy's website for any updates. Bonaire. All visitors aged 13 and up are required to provide negative test results. Visitors who have not been immunized must either take a COVID-19 test 24 hours before departure or a PCR test 48 hours before departure and an antigen test upon arrival. Visitors who have been immunized can enter with only a 48-hour test. As of September 1st, Bonaire designated the United States as a high-risk country, requiring all American visitors, regardless of vaccination status, to take a rapid antigen test on the fifth day of their stay. Prior to arrival, travelers must have travel medical insurance and fill out a health declaration form. More information is available on the Bonaire Crisis website, which includes details for visitors. Bosnia and Herzegovina According to the U.S. Embassy in Bosnia and Herzegovina, American visitors are welcome as long as they can show proof of vaccination, recovery from the coronavirus, or a negative COVID-19 test taken no more than 72 hours before entry. Botswana Travel to Botswana is permitted for Americans who provide proof of negative coronavirus test results obtained no more than 72 hours before departure. Upon arrival, all visitors are subjected to a rapid antigen test. Visitors should expect some restrictions on interstate travel between the various zones of the country. For more information, go to the website of the country's U.S. Embassy. Brazil Travelers from the United States, over the age of 12, must show proof of a negative test taken no more than 72 hours before boarding a flight to Brazil. In addition, they must fill out a traveler's health declaration form. Airports have some health screening procedures in place, but there is no mandatory quarantine period upon arrival. For more information, go to the website of the United States Embassy in Brazil. British Virgin Islands, any unvaccinated American, over the age of 5, planning to visit must first show proof of a negative test taken no more than 5 days before arrival, an entry fee calculated based on vaccination status, an online travel authorization certificate must be completed, unvaccinated visitors must be tested upon arrival, quarantined for 7 days, and subjected to a test on day 7. The results of which will determine whether they are allowed to travel around the islands. Travelers who have been immunized must show proof of a negative test taken no more than five days before arrival, but they are exempt from quarantine. For more information, visit the U.S. Embassy website. Bulgaria, Americans can now visit as Bulgaria considers the United States to be in the orange zone. Americans must show either proof of vaccination or proof of a negative coronavirus test taken no more than 72 hours before travel in order to enter. Visitors who are not immunized must also complete a 10-day quarantine upon arrival. To see a list of exceptions, go to the website of the U.S. Embassy in Bulgaria. Canada, vaccinated Americans can now travel to Canada as of August 9. Visitors to this northern country must be fully vaccinated with a Canada-approved vaccine, Pfizer, Moderna, J&J, or AstraZeneca, and provide proof of vaccination via the arrive app. Show proof of a negative coronavirus test taken within the last 72 hours. Upon arrival, select travelers may be chosen at random to complete a test. Americans can either fly to Canada or cross at a land border. Anyone who submits false vaccination records faces a fine of up to $750,000 and possible prison time. Cape Verdean Islands U.S. citizens are permitted to visit Cape Verde as long as they provide proof of a negative test, either PCR or antigen, taken no more than 72 hours before departure. Upon arrival, there are no quarantine requirements. Visit the Embassy's website for more information.